What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you again for tuning in and welcome to another video. Today I am super excited. I am finally going to get some roller shots and I, I can't quite call it shots because it's more video. Anyway, let me introduce you to Namim. Say what's, what's up? up? Guys? What's up guys? So he is a professional videographer uh, for hire. Uh, his forte is just getting awesome incredible shots of cars rolling, drive-bys and flybys and all that, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to hand over my creative control today to Namim. He is going to tell me what to do, and I'm going to be doing a little behind the scenes shooting of him shooting my car. I know you guys want to skip ahead, so right now we're just going to go right into the video. Enjoy! Do this on the coldest days. I'm gonna be kind of doing a behind the scenes of him shooting my car, which is gonna be kind of interesting. So I'm gonna be shooting someone who is shooting. Um, you'll get a little bit of taste of what goes into it. If you don't do video or editing or anything like that, there's so much work on the back end. Uh, the shooting part is usually easiest. Um, installs take forever because if it's something that takes 20 minutes, having to shoot it and narrate it uh, makes it you know four or five times longer. Um, and then after it's all done, it's the editing. So cutting uh, what you think the audience will find useful, what they won't find useful. Anyway, I got the car cleaned up here. It is looking nice. Uh, so I haven't driven it a whole lot since I got ceramic coated, so it's still looking pretty good. Anyway, he should be here in just a couple minutes. We got a couple locations that we have to hit, uh, and he's got a script prepared. Uh, he's gonna kind of walk me through the process. I'm excited. I hope you enjoy the video. So I'm just filling up the car real quick. We're beginning to go to three different locations. I'm gonna let Namim tell uh, you what the plan is for today and what the script calls for. All right, guys, so when I film, I have a script that I like to go off of, get some stationary angles, you know, the car, just like close-ups and stuff like that, panning motions. And then we're gonna go to Frederick. We're gonna do the rollers there. You're gonna see him driving like left and right. And then we're gonna go to Baltimore. We're gonna see like a lot of industrial areas. And then we're gonna end it off on Francis Key Bridge. It's a beautiful bridge, a lot of body of water. Yep, that's about it. Stay tuned. <laughs> A7 what? Is it's it A73? A73. What's your YouTube channel called? Just one more mod. Just one more mod. That's the case. So what he's doing now is getting some um, still standing shots, uh, shooting at 60 frames per second, and it's all going to get slowed down. So he's just doing a bunch of uh, wide, medium close-ups, uh, slowly dialing in everything like that which is it's pretty cool to see. I'm always uh, usually working the camera, so it's very fun to see other people working the camera, especially when it's for your content. So this is pretty exciting. Uh, from here, after we roll this up, we're gonna go get some rolling shots, which is always the fun part. So what is interesting right now is they are getting the camera set up and the right lens on. Uh, they're gonna have, uh, obviously, someone driving. He's gonna be in the back and they're just gonna give me direction on what to do for the, the, the roller shots. Uh, you know, whether it's a speed up, slow down, you know, hold a high gear, something like that. Uh, they want me to do a drill run so I can get familiar with the road, which is smart. 
Uh, and uh, this is kind of cool. So I'm gonna shoot them a little bit of them getting the uh, camera set up and uh, them getting ready to go for the roller shots. Insta360 is ready to go. So we're gonna get another little cool angle. I guess I will do M2, why not? Yep, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. If there's no traffic, you can go ahead and speed off to the light. Awesome, that was really good. Cool. Okay, let's go back to the original spot. Awesome. Okay, that was perfect, dude. Really easy. Nice. Cool. All right, so Namim said that that first take was really good. He wants to show me how it looks. Um, Super easy. Right? So he said I did good the first try. So let's take a quick look uh, of the preview of just the raw footage. It was definitely the best customer we had in terms of stunts. Yeah, and stunts you did perfect. I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> Especially getting close look at that. to the oh, look camera. At that. Usually wow. people have trouble with that. Yeah, they're very hesitant, you know? Oh, every time my, my front collision center uh, sensor went off. <laughs> every time. We'll do like, uh, we'll do one more of these. Okay. All right. Speed up towards me. Awesome. You know, so good. Awesome, we got it. Oh, perfect. Awesome. All right, so I think we're going to do another quick review just to see how the shots are. He said the first take was awesome, so uh, excited to see what the second take looks like. Oh, my God, look at that. That is awesome. That looks good. Is this 60 frames as well? Yep. Awesome. And then uh, I'll slow it down. I'm not gonna slow it down. I'm gonna. Uh, it's gonna be 30 frames when it's done. Okay. So it'll look more cinematic and all with, that. With with some slow shots and some speed ramps. I'm assuming all I get. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, look at these shots. That was really nice. That's awesome. Really nice. Awesome. All right. You know in Inception, when you have to go multiple layers deep, multiple dreams deep? This is me shooting the guy who was shooting my car. This is like Inception, like how many layers deep are we now? <laughs> me shooting on my phone, shooting the camera that is shooting the guy who's shooting my car. I don't know if we'll ever wake up. All right, so what Namim is doing right now is he's actually just getting under the hood shots and basically some slow pans with uh, the DJI and the gimbal. Just some beauty shots under this like industrial park. It is really cool. I live really close to this. I did not know this place was here. Um, well, I knew it existed, but I didn't know about this underbridge part. So apparently this is a very cool go-to spot for photo ops and video shoots. So he's doing his thing. I'm. He's got some amazing shots. We just did uh, a quick uh, in the tunnel. Uh, some roller shots, uh, car sounds good. So he's just getting some beauty shots and then we're gonna move on to drone shots. All right, so Namim is 
besides actually going around getting the aerial shots with the drone it's just going to be for aerial shots my car's not in it it's just to get a sense of the environment uh this industrial park is quite a sight i had i mean i know its location but being in it which i don't think we're supposed to be but um it's awesome that's what he's doing right now uh we're gonna go take a peek over his shoulder and uh see what he's in that's awesome yep. That's stable for how windy it is, man. Oh, yeah. That's got awesome range. That was awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed a little bit behind the scenes. How do you think today went? Yo, success, man. So easy to work with, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, so every time you was just like, that looks so dope, that looks so good, or we nailed it on the first try, but just being a videographer, you always want another take, just oh, yeah. as a safety. So uh, I had a great time, super professional. I highly recommend them. I cannot wait for the final edit. Obviously, you guys have already seen it, but I haven't seen it, so I am super excited. Anyway, if you want to hit him up, I will leave his information in the description below. Thank you again for tuning in. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Out! Hey.